Yep. Talk log. Uh. Are you waiting for someone to speak? Yes. <laughs> I don't know. Once in a while. It's off the first time The first it's or pretty second good. First. Isn't it pretty good? Yeah. I felt some. The first parts. one, I think, was like from my I memory. I haven't seen the second one. I'm going yeah. tomorrow. No. The second one I hear is like. Meh. I hear it's just like a musical. That's what my coworkers said when they went to see it. It was just like. It was just kind of straight up. Like, it was more like yeah. songs than the first one. I don't remember the first one. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. I genuinely don't remember. Uh, there's a post credit scene. Explains the whole plot, so I know what happens in Frozen Two without oh. seeing a single fucking minute of it. Because wait, wait, Frozen has a two. Frozen Two. Oh, Frozen Two has. So a I don't know. Event. Like, oh. I, I wouldn't suggest waiting for it, but it's up to you. Just what is going on, everybody? Welcome to the F Word Podcast, the best podcast you'll never know. Fuck, I said it wrong again. Uh, part of the Saskatchewan Podcast Network and X Credit Union and all that jazz. Hope everyone is doing good. Hope you're having a great week. And uh, second episode of the new year. Not like this is going to be a thing of like third episode of the new year. Fourth. Also, if you've noticed, we haven't done any. We're not doing seasons, by the way. The app keeps telling or not the app. The anchor keeps saying it's like, oh, which season are you going to be on? It's like we're still on season one. We will always be on season one. Even yeah, if we I guess get to so. the, if we're lucky enough to get to the thousands, it's going to be. Does season Joe one. Rogan Does have he... seasons or is he just also like straight up episodes? Who? Joe Rogan. He goes straight now. Yeah, because to... yeah, he's on yeah. like episode. Unless you I think count he's over a thousand, isn't he? Oh yeah, he's at Un- like sixteen hundred. Unless no, you do like, like every like every year is a season kind of no, thing. But otherwise, this would be season two. But oh, there you, do you also count twenty seventeen up until then because technically that was like the season zero. Season zero, the pilot season instead the of pilot a pilot season. episode. There's, a whole there's season. no season zero. Season one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So okay they, they're Mister HBO. Be, it'd be a pilot season. Well, not that no one ever says ever season exists. zero ever. But they say Batman Year zero. zero. That's different. Same. What about pa- same but different? What no. about Patient Zero? It's totally different. What? You're gonna go it's up to someone say no patience. We're, we're talking about seasons here. Oh, yeah. Seasons change just like patients. And some of them are yeah, numbered, goodness. and some of them are zero. Well then, you're gonna tell the guy in holes he can't be named zero. Oh. Didn't think I was old enough to know that one, did you? No, no. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Where do we go? Where do we go from here? There's the some trailers. There's the Disney movie shit. Uh, what Disney movie shit? That's like a very broad. Yeah. Oh, very sorry. Broad that on Disney Plus. Shit. Oh, okay. Um, the Hulk movie, Ned Stark stuff, Golden Globes, Punisher stuff, Batman stuff, Nicholas Holt stuff, a whole whack of things. And there was a up the Golden Globes. Stuff. Yeah, we could start with that. I don't, it doesn't matter. I didn't, I didn't see. Should I didn't start, pay attention. Should we start running down, like having? Remember when we used to do the videos for the live show, and it would be like, oh, on this episode, we're going to be doing boom, 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 boom. Should we do that I'm before the? Credits? Pretty sure you change it every time, anyways. So I, honestly, I wasn't yeah. a big fan of that format, anyways. Like I don't think it really mattered. Yeah, yeah. Like even starting it off is like on today's show, we're going to be doing blah 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 blah. And just like I like the unofficial vibe we have now, Sweet. opposed just to like. Going backwards. I was I was just thinking about it because there has been a there has been a couple times where I'm like, oh, these are the topics. Where do you guys want to start? Right. Mm. Which I think is somewhat. It's good. different. It's different, but the same. Mm-hmm. I don't one. think we have a list though. Did we? No. So I have no, no idea what we're doing. Oh yeah, I forgot. I totally forgot to send it. That was sure that, did. That was the list. Yeah. And then whatever was sent in the chat. The chat has a lot of stuff that I have to filter through. Neil Pert died. From yeah. Rush, the drummer, that was pretty crazy. Pretty young, um, too, 67. Yeah. Um, I didn't pay attention to the I reason. didn't add this, but Netflix signed a deal with an online cons- casino so like, company. What are the so, logistics? Because I was reading a bit of it, but I was just confused. Like, are they actually doing anything? Or are they just, like, partnered up with a casino company now? They're partnered. Oh, okay. so, so through your membership, Kasumo? you can start? Oh, okay. No, maybe, maybe. So uh, they're getting out in front of the online casino industry. This is what this article is saying from interactiondeception.com. Never heard of it before. Um, just like they did with the online streaming industry, Kasumo is the perfect partnership because of their experience in growing young, innovative companies. Apparently, the goal now is to bring it, bring in as many users as possible, which is exactly what Kasumo's uh, new partners know how to do. So, what is and then it says some stuff regarding Canada, which I guess they're rolling it out in Canada, and then we'll have a crack at like they'll give us like a hundred bucks, and then you can go and gamble and stuff. Oh yeah. Um, and then I had sent it to our 
sibling chat because there's like yeah. a chat that we have on WhatsApp with like just the siblings. And um, yeah, I, I'm under the impression now that based on this, they're just going to create their own city online. Mm. So now they've got the movie side of things mm-hmm. then they're going to get this thing and have the casino thing. So essentially it's like Vegas online that everyone has access to and can take their currency one one place to another, mm-hmm. which ultimately may just mean that we're all going to be living online always. It'll be like Second Life and Second Second Life from The Office. Ready Player One. Or Ready, Ready Player, Player One would be hype. Actually, I don't even know. Like, I think that's a very interesting topic to talk about. Like, even like I know not to go like too far into it. Of course you can. It's a topic. But like, I don't know if I'd like that. If I'd like to like because that, that extensive. That like, to the extent like where if, like sure Ready Player One. If I want to go in there, yeah. you know, like as I play a video game now, like just for like two hours, or whatever, or you know, longer depending on how I feel. Yeah. But like actually living in VR, like because right. people do challenges on YouTube where they live in VR, like games for twenty four yeah. hours. Oh. And it's just like they sleep with the headset on, like they do all this crazy shit. And I'm like, I don't know, I can't play video games for like two hours without getting yeah. angry, motion sick, or just like anything else i've never tried the vr i have no idea how it would be it's different from like you're separated from the Mm -hmm. screen you're not like in it and immersed in it it's like part of your world so you're living it i i really don't know you've never tried vr no have you tried vr i did once go to a was it you know where the vr grid used to be Mm -hmm. it used to be a sound studio there Mm. And then they had just introduced VR, like they were bringing it before it became the VR grid. Okay. And a year before that, the guy had the um, Samsung headset. Mm -hmm. And so he put his phone in there and they had, this was back when Ultron had come out. Okay. And it was the scene in Stark Tower where Ultron's attacking everyone. And Mm -hmm. it was like Mm -hmm. there and it was pretty sweet. And then we tried on when he had the headset coming from the ceiling like a zombie game and like a mm. cash register thing. So I've done, I've dabbled very little and I think it's super dope. Me and like the Kalitas boys, we went to the grid and I think we played the v, the zombie one. Mm. They had a Star Wars one too. I forgot. There was a Star Wars one with a lightsaber mm, and you got to like shoot people, like all this crazy shit. Like there's, you got attacked. It was actually yeah. pretty hype. I've only done it like once or twice, mm-hmm. but it was like, it's fun to try. I bet the newest one coming out for like home, like the PS4 has the Iron Man one. So mm. I think PS5, sorry, PS5 is supposed to release it, the new VR with the Iron Man one. So that'll be oh, yeah. that'll be interesting. And they're in select cities. They're going to be having like actual places that have the Marvel cast, and you can do as uh, be as Marvel like. I forget what it's it's like called Marvel Experience. Okay, and you could be a Spider Man or Thor or whatever. Obviously, they're going to bring it home, but I think they're they're only releasing it in select cities and mm-hmm. i could have the wrong product but i remember seeing trailers for it and it's like oh it's in like san diego and Wait, LA. i think i do remember what you're talking about. i remember seeing a trailer the like that was where it was called? v called i think you're along the same like it was a, it wasn't marvel. like a it was a b- very basic title like it was very it, it wasn't anything like crazy marvel i saw VR. it in vegas like a poster but i remember vegas. i thought it was going to be the avengers game but mm. it wasn't it was that it was something else so i remember I, you were talking about something well marvel does have a powers united vr for the okay. Oculus. There it's not that one. It's something mm. else. I'm going to find it. I'm gonna I think. Hunt you down. Okay. Damage control? Damage control. Yes. Mm. Marvel VR Avengers Damage Control Damage Control in the Void, it's called. The, void. Um, the experience. So you can choose a location to book it. So you actually have to book it. Like, I don't know. People go to fucking escape rooms, right? You book the space. You go with your friends. You have the experience. And then you get the fuck out. Yeah. Which I think is weird for a game, especially when you're wanting to get better. Yeah, but this is like VR is more of like an experience right now where like yeah. people don't know. Like for myself, I was interested in the PS4 VR, mm-hmm. but it's also five hundred bucks. Too mm-hmm. expensive. So I'm like, okay, like I don't know if I'll even like VR because again, like I get motion sickness, motion sick quick. It never yeah. was an issue though. Like when I went to like, the grid, like I never got super sick. Yeah. Uh, but like I just feel like it's a lot of money to invest in. So like having those rooms where you can just book and like see if you actually like VR because mm-hmm. you guys haven't even tried VR or you have, but like not, look, I haven't tried to that extent. Yeah. VR. Mm-hmm. So like it's different. So like not a lot of people want to invest like a console's amount of money into mm-hmm. a product that might suck or they might just dislike. So, and it might be a novelty. Mm-hmm. Like, even Guitar Hero has become a novelty. At least it wasn't that expensive. But after a while, no, if like the drum was, pedal breaks, you yeah. have to get a new one. They always made them so cheap, and oh, like fuck. it was just a pain in the ass. And like, and then it just petered out. Now yeah. VR may not peter out, but uh, I think VR only can go up because like they'll make it smoother. I, I guarantee Ooh. at some point it will get almost as good as Ready Player One. 
in a sense. Mm-hmm. I, I got to imagine that it's very attainable to get to that point. It's just the cost and how is it going to work on a grand scale? Like, can people get it at home kind of thing? Or is it only going to be available at like certain spots, which would defeat the purpose too? Like this one. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, I think they have to be able to mass produce it at a reasonable cost. I mean, people are willing to pay like six, seven hundred bucks for something like that. So to get a base set up of, let's say, the headset and then whatever the program needs to run, which if they, if it's a, if it's own console, maybe it might work differently. Or if it has to attach onto like the Xbox or the PS4, which also makes sense too, to make it adaptable to all that kind of stuff. Or PC so it can handle the processing power. Yeah. Well, I know majority of like Oculus is the big one. And yeah. I want to add to that because I totally forgot. I think Oculus is the one, like some company is releasing VR gloves, mm. like actual gloves. So you can actually like, grab things mm. other side from just like using a stick to grab it. Yeah. So it's just like, it's crazy. Cause it, that's like, that's a fucking I'm big saying step it's, up. It's going to get there mm-hmm. eventually. It's just going to take some time. And uh, I mean, the process to get to that, much it would be very interesting but yeah well when i had brandon on here for our d i think it was deep dive number 12 11 or 12 and we talked about hollywood trends one of us had mentioned it's going to get to a point where you're going to have a vr set at home Mm -hmm. you're going to put it on to go to a movie quote Mm. unquote and it's literally just going to transport you in the theater like you're there so that you're experiencing some semblance of being in a movie theater without the actual overhead and infrastructure that you would need for a real theater like and yeah we're just sitting there like, like, like and, and at first it sounds really crazy, but if Netflix, for instance, picks this the casino thing up, what's to stop them from everybody? Like, hey, you get your subscription, mm-hmm. you get your headset, come on in, and it's going to look like a, a James Bond avatar thing if you're going to a casino yeah. or whatever. And you're going to be able to go there, play with your actual money, and it's going to feel like you're actually gambling with the people because yeah. the thing that online loses out on is – or I think that it would lose out on is obviously there's a human element mm. that does make things better. Yeah. Like craps is only fun if people are yelling. Yeah. Like if there's those like, oh, this is great, right? Like roll a seven, don't roll a seven, roll this, whatever. You need that interaction. Yeah. Uh, same with poker. Poker fundamentally is better, mm-hmm. not necessarily faster, but it's better with humans. Not to say that the online. It's better with people. Not to yeah. say that the online poker world isn't massive. It's just that it's ma- of course it's massive. Also yeah. because it's fast, right? Yeah. But then imagine if you're able to have dealers that are just dealing like regular mm-hmm. uh, time clock, like you do on let's say a poker stars or whatever, yep. or a full tilt. I forget which ones are around. Then you go switch, and you're like, oh, we're gonna go to a movie, and then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, without traffic, taxis, or anything, you're already at a theater that's gonna be ready to play the movie. Yeah. And you have best, best seats no matter where, like what yeah. you go to, because yeah. you're the only one really. That's so there. it'll just integrate yeah. your avatar or your eyes to the best seat always. So would there ever actually, no, why would you lose out on a seat necessarily? Or would you say no, there's no, a you, mix? It, it doesn't it's a matter mix where use. you are. It, you don't actually, it doesn't matter the seat. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't matter how many people. You get the best view. It, it'll always mm-hmm. give the user the yeah. best view. So it's not necessarily you got here first. It doesn't matter because. Just like a single player game, it yeah. puts you in the seat, right? So it'll just do that in the theater. Yeah. So then so, imagine if you never have to leave home to do that. Now, obviously, you need groceries and stuff. I mean, well, you can probably some deliver go, doesn't like save, save on, on yeah, yeah delivers. So imagine being able to go to an online save on store that Netflix Fuck. bought. We want to stop recording and just like start writing this shit down. And, like, <laughs> let's go. Pen <laughs> But like you go there and you place your order there like normal. There's yeah. somebody on the other side that's working 24 hour. Like, not one person, <laughs> but they'll process it. It'll be like you're shopping. You literally go. Yeah. You literally walk through aisles in your VR life picking groceries out and ordering them yeah. or they'll just have a screen or whatever mm-hmm. and then that food gets delivered to you in real time because it's processed through there yeah. like there's a very real possibility that we can get to that oh, I think that's very like yeah, yeah no the movie theater especially but I just I think about you that. can go to the washroom and never miss the movie Ever. Just you just see Vasily walk around his house. He has a headset on. Yeah. No one talk. I'm watching Rise of Skywalker. No, no, you got like in the mid a mini window to actually what's in the real world. <laughs> and then the rest of the movie's playing. It'd be a picture else. in picture. Yeah, exactly. It has to be. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But that, if that's we learn see happening. If we learned anything from Ready Player One is that that's too much and obviously everyone breaks down anyway. You need yeah. that break from the real from that mm-hmm. VR world. Have which, you seen Minority Report? No, there's a scene Maybe. in my. I, you should watch it. I've heard of it. Like I know I've oh, heard of that. I just don't know if it I. It was seen ahead it. of its time. I think I, it, it is. 
that movie and Demolition Man have pretty much are are being lived out now. Yeah. It's really fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. But there's one part in Minority Report where people are actually able to uh, to live out their dreams. So if mm-hmm. you've never gone bobsledding, you go into this capsule thing, this pod yeah, of sorts, right, yeah. and you experience the exhilaration of bobsledding or mm-hmm. sleeping with your favorite celebrity or yeah. winning an Oscar or, I don't know, killing somebody, whatever it is. You get to experience the actual mechanical action of doing it yeah. in these pods. And because it's pretty much VR, but your whole body's in mm-hmm. this pod, these mm-hmm. people are experiencing the whole thing. Like he lifted the pod on one guy and he was like, sleep, he was having sex with this one girl. And like he was feeling the sensations like he was actually having sex, yeah. but he wasn't. Hmm. Right. So, yeah, that's watch that movie and you're going to sit there and be like, wow, this is kind of happening now. <laughs> so I do. I've never seen it because I, like, I just searched for the poster. Mm-hmm. But I never thought I thought Minority Report was like a fucking stupid comedy. Oh, no, oh, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> Minority Report is, is technically and this is not a spoiler. It's 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 an alternate part of your it's an alternate universe that you could uh, that could that exists for you poten- that potentially exists for you. Yeah. So the summary is: there's these three precogs that can look into the future, mm-hmm. and there is the police who is now using them to capture premeditated murders, murderers. So, for instance, the one they'll wake up there and they're like this. They they house them in this what the, this pool of yeah, it's kind of yeah, and they'll all of a sudden have this psych uh, psychic vision of someone killing, let's say, his wife. Like that's, and then these guys are like, "Oh, we got to catch this guy because he's about to kill his wife." Mm-hmm. Now, the, the, obviously, the the uh, the psychological conundrum is that, well, how do you know it would have happened just because mm-hmm. they can predict the future? What yeah. if it doesn't happen? And like the one example was like Tom Cruise is in this, and he he rolls a ball across a screen or whatever, and the other guy catches it. He's like, "Why'd you catch that? Because it was going to fall." So then there's this. This is really cool, ethical, moral type of back and forth that goes on. But mm-hmm. even just the technology that exists there, you're going to look at it and be like, yeah. oh, this we kind of already have this, this, and that, which yeah. is actually scary. It's not mm-hmm. good. Yeah. But. but it's kind of funny. The, a lot of these movies kind of have almost this, almost the same uh, kind of layout where there, there's like the regular – world like regular normal as we know it set up there's the futuristic side mm-hmm. and then there's the desolate and mm-hmm. side of it like kind of derelict i guess you could say too like the yeah. slums and that kind of thing so well that's where demolition man comes in because yeah. demolition man actually has an underground world so mm-hmm. like it's if you watch it now you'll think it's cheesy but it's actually brilliant yeah um the taco bell won the franchise wars so that's the only restaurant in town because they're the <laughs> ones that beat out everybody yeah um you can't swear no one's allowed to say anything bad or you're going to issue a ticket. You go to jail for saying something wrong or swearing. And then under all of that lies this group of people. And I think I've talked about this before. Um, I'm thinking I'm having like deja vu right now. But they're living outside of that. They eat rats. They're whatever. They are the complete underground and the opposite of what's happening above. Because the above has gone so mm-hmm. far into order. That it bunch is bunch of SJWs. Yeah, basically. it's not. Yeah. It, it's gone to the point where yes they just no. live that way, right? Yeah. And like they don't even have sex. They put on their VR headsets and they experience lights and uh, things that would be somewhat a, like analogous to maybe a sexual experience. Yeah, right. And Stallone wakes up obviously from coming from like the eighties or nineties or whatever. Something like that. Same yeah. with you know um, Wesley Snipes. Wesley Snipes. It's good. I would highly recommend it. Yeah, that's weird. The weird thing about that. It sounds like both sound really interesting, and I actually do want to check them out. But like the the one weird thing is probably when they made Demolition Man. Yeah. The one rule about swearing and you go to jail is probably like, you know, a joke. Like, ah, oh, that's so funny. Like nobody would actually ever like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think that, and now in 2020, there are people that like. There's some people that genuinely think that if you swear or say anything like, obviously, hate speech is like not in yeah. this like comparison. But if you say anything bad, like I just say, hey, you're a fucking loser. Yeah. Some people will genuinely think you should get criminally charged or like. Unless you're Ricky Gervais. <laughs> Oh, we're Fuck. definitely talking about Ricky Gervais. Oh, yeah. That was the man right I watched now. it. I watched the full 10-minute intro. Did, hey? Oh, yeah. How good was that? Are we on it? Yeah, let's do it. Segway. Oh, man. Good for him. Good for him. Good for him. Good for him. But he's been doing that since day one. Uh, dude, so many also of those true. Golden Globe I things think... have popped on my recommended now. Oh, I'm just yeah. kind of roasting the fuck out of it. I saw the Steve Carell one. 
Yeah. Or it was a joke, obviously. We took back his like oh the Golden gra- Globe the or something. Emmy, yeah, the Emmy. He took it back like from that. Him. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's just always on fire that way, and he just doesn't give a shit. This literally, year, everything was great. Yeah. Like that was. I think, like, he had, I think he had comment. better material to work off of this year because everyone's been so. He's yeah. been what? I think the last time was 2016. He hosted it. So it was, was about, that how long? Yes, yeah, 2016. I think, yeah, 2016 was the last time he hosted it. Right. So he had a lot of material to work off of over the years. And especially, like I said, this past year, how much, you know, stupid shit came across. And, like, he even brought up Kevin Hart got, got you know, rolled over because of a tweet. Whereas, mm. like, he's sitting here, he's like, oh, well, whatever. <laughs> and he kept saying, I don't care. Oh, yeah. And he was, that's Telling what he was Telling people to shut up, just shut up. Because he knows the shock up. and awe care. and stuff like that. And and the hypocrisy. Oh, 100%. We've talked about this before, he, uh, like, here. Like, yeah. this isn't anything that we've been doing groundbreaking which no. by the way speaking of groundbreaking these are the new shirts for those of you watching on the screen for those of you obviously not seeing that i'll try to get a better photo for instagram but i'll just make it the thumbnail i could i guess we'll see yeah maybe i'll do that <laughs> uh, anyways <laughs> we've been we talked about the hypocrisy behind celebrities virtue signaling yeah all over the place and how these people pretend for a living yeah and, yeah. be, and they're paid a lot of money to pretend, yeah. and they're given scripts to pretend about, and we like watching them, and we think mm. they're great and all that, but at one point, it's like nobody cares, nobody relieves yeah. you, and listen, like, you need to, you guys need to just just do what you do. You do got to like, though, the Golden Globes, because it does give them a little bit more of a relaxed environment where they do laugh at this stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. they're laughing because they're, they're 100%. They probably agree they with them. They know it. They agree with them. Some of it's shock and awe. The best was Tom Hanks' reactions because they have, like, a <laughs> compilation of all his reactions. He was pretty, like, shocked that he was going there, but part of it was, like, he was laughing about it for sure. Also, his son is not Jamaican. Did you guys hear his son speak? He was doing this massive Jamaican. Apparently, he's a rapper, Chet Hanks. Hmm. The young, one of the young ones, I guess. I, one, yeah. yeah, he's apparently a rapper, and um, he was like going full Jamaican, wow. and it actually sound. I think it, patwa is the language, and he was speaking patwa or uh, doing the patwan accent, and yeah. it was just like, the fuck, man, this is like Snow 2.0. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I all, the one thing I found. Because have you guys seen his show? I think it's Afterlife or whatever. Like Ricky, it's, it's really good. See Afterlife. No, yeah. I haven't oh, seen it. it was fucking good. And it was like it is. Obviously, super... he mentioned it like about how yeah. his wife dies and he wants the guy wants to kill himself. Oh, okay. And the yeah, one yeah, comment yeah. he made. Yeah, you know the show Afterlife where the guy wants to commit suicide because his wife died had more fucking life than I forget what he compared it to. But I found oh, it so funny. Man. Yeah, I remember. I can't remember that joke. Right, just because he was co- he was talking about how um, movies and TV and stuff are just not good. And people aren't going. Yeah, to exactly. Stuff. And then he talked about like the the Marvel stuff and how everything everyone's wearing tights yeah. and capes. You don't even have to act anymore. You just have to. You get paid to work. Go to the gym five times a week. Yeah, yeah. and take steroids was the other joke. The Apple one was funny because Tim Cook was in the. There. Oh yeah, they they panned. That, that was fucking. I did. Died. They pan to him. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, like that is it. They like. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's good. See, I love... The, and everyone's they've got their iPhones, too. <laughs> like, mostly... The yeah, one thing I loved about him is that he'd always start off his insult. It was a, like, in, it was a compliment sandwich where he'd start yeah. with a compliment yeah. and mm-hmm. then always undercut it, like, immediately afterwards. Yeah. I love that kind of humor where it's, like, nobody's safe and it's just, like... He's so good at it. Oh, fuck. He even and, went after Pesci. He called him Baby Yoda. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because he's short. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. No, it was so good. It so, was really good. One thing I want to add, because I... Joaquin Phoenix, what was he saying when he got? Because I wasn't even like uh, watching. Was, I didn't watch that part. I, I think he was all about he was getting on everyone with their private jets and stuff like that about the environment and that kind but of stuff. But why would they cut him he and not Ricky arrested. Gervais? Why he got arrested today for being for at a climate change rally? Joaquin. Oh, I I think it was because he was just like going off the rails again. Like and he was swearing like crazy. Joaquin has like he doesn't know how to do it like Gervais. Gervais can like put it in your face in a good way, whereas. Joaquin just kind of goes a little nuts about it. I at least that's mm-hmm. what I noticed. So that's probably why they like they roped him out of there, kind of thing. Like mm-hmm. all short of having a massive cane to like, hey, get out. <laughs> the one meme I saw was that the Golden Globes cut him off in fear of uh, Martin Scorsese. <laughs> oh, why? Because in the Joker, you know, he starts going off oh, on yeah. a tangent oh, yeah, publicly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I guess hey. that's funny. Which is apparently, the, this is something that I thought I. Wouldn't expect is Scorsese said he's not gonna watch, he's not gonna go see the Joker like he said this a couple weeks ago the it, first like the the, the no, Joker like the, the Joker oh. that just came out he's like I've already seen like the movies like that it's like Have you're, you though? you're sitting there talking about how you don't like uh, superhero movies and like theme park movies that's like 
furthest away. I'm from sorry, it. man. I love Scorsese, but Joker was better than The Irishman, and it was. Yeah, that's true. I would say it's better than Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. It's one of the best movies that came out. I haven't seen Parasite yet, and everyone's. Just I seen... want to too. I, I didn't know what the fuck it's about. I don't want to know. I just want to go Parasite. in. Is it a horror movie? It looks like it. It's okay. probably meant to be. Sounds like a parasite. It's like uh, a plague. Yeah, I don't know anything <laughs> about it. All I know is that everybody that sees it is like has the biggest raging hard on for it. Yeah. So is that the one that won best movie? Because I didn't know which one actually won. Um, let's see here. But the one thing I want to add, I, I didn't even Martin Scorsese mm. is like for that comment. It's, it's kind of like you say you don't. Oh, nice drama motion picture. Oh. So you say you don't like superhero movies. You go in Joker, which is, you know, it's different enough. Yeah. But then to say, well, I, I don't want to watch the movie I fucking got mm. paid to do is kind of like. No, he didn't. He didn't do Joker. Scorsese. Who am I talking about? Who's the old guy? That's Scorsese, but he did not do. Jo- he has nothing to do with. Okay, Joker. Well, who's the guy he shot in Joker? That's De Niro. That's De Niro. I'm sorry. Robert De Niro is the one I was talking <laughs> about for the meme. Everything else. Uh, is, I'm sorry. This was okay. stupid. This whole tangent doesn't make sense. And I'm done now. Now, now it makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now everything makes uh, sense. Context. They're all old. <laughs> They do things. I like how 1917 came out this weekend. It got you no know, uh, Sam Mendes won director for 1917, and ooh, Joker got the score, original score. Hmm. Hilder Gooden and daughter. No, 1917. I've heard nothing but good things as well, and yeah, it's coming out this weekend. It yeah. came out today, yesterday. I mean, oh again, yeah, sorry, yeah. No one cares about the Golden Globes, obviously. Yes and no. Also, they need to get rid of them. Listen, when you have a category of musical yeah. or comedy motion picture and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood wins that, it's like, you guys, stu- you guys you're dumb. Where would, where would Once Upon a Time fall? Wouldn't it be like a TV drama? Or, it's a, it's sorry, a TV, drama. Sorry. It's a drama. It's That's a drama. It. Yeah. It would be competing with 1917. No. Yeah. It'd be competing with 1917. But they have comedy in there too, don't they? Yeah, but does it mean that it's a musical or a comedy? It's not a comedy. Well, I get that, but they should be all separate. Well, they just shouldn't have that at all. Yeah, mm-hmm. comedy should be its own. Musical should be its own. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah but don't put. They, they've done this before. They put movies that sh- like The Martian won that for was the best musical joke. or comedy. That was when he was. Uh, he, Gervais was on 2016. I think that's when it came out like, too. Come on. So wait, Damn The Martian man. won a comedy. Yeah, musical or comedy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The Martian was the one on Mars, right? We grew his own, looked stuff out his own yeah. shit. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. Huh. Kind of stupid, right? Yeah. No, that makes sense. Uh, Brad Pitt won best supporting actor. I'm cool with that yeah. for sure. Uh, Joaquin, obviously. Um, and for some reason, Beyonce didn't feel the need to stand up. Does that matter? Was it like, no. I didn't think it mattered either. I'm like, who cares? Well, it's just, was it like, was she not standing? She like, was the only, apparently, apparently, I didn't see the whole entire room. Apparently, yeah. she was the only one not standing. If you're the only one not standing, it's, a, it it's looks stupid. Like you're dumb. I'm sorry. Just, but if you're in shot, the only one, and it's like, does it really matter? Like, yeah. was it like a backhanded insult? Or was it just her, like, I don't so, care? Well, the thing no. is, she was sitting like right by him. That's yeah. Right. I don't they know. were really close. Like, the fact that she was even near the front there surprises me. Cause... Yeah. I don't know. But uh, I, apparently, this is how far news has gone, is where that's a thing. It's like, all right, that's fine. Yeah. Um, I will, though, because we do this on this show, wonder if Joaquin never gave a standing ovation if Beyonce won an award and what the backlash would be from that. Oh. To be fair, he probably <laughs> wouldn't be at an award with her. Any... You never know. Unless oh, she pulls I... a Lady Gaga. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. But let's let's just yeah, yeah, let's yeah. just like play let's keep that, yeah, here, yeah. Let's let's play the opposite game and just say if if the roles were reversed, what the backlash would be, right? Yeah. Well, Joker uh, says we live in a society. Yeah. Um. So that was Golden Globe stuff. Ricky Gervais killed it. Awesome. Well, speaking of Joker, I guess there was uh, they're looking at the Batman being made in the image of Joker's world. So mm-hmm. it's not going to be like the other Batman movies. It's going to exist in. A, a, the world that Todd Phillips created, that okay, wait, Todd wait, wait, Phillips wait, wait. would have created. Yeah, that's are you the, talking? That's a thought right now. Are you talking about the one that's being made right? The Batman being filmed right now? Yeah, with with Robert Pattinson. So what I understood was that Todd Phillips said he's interested in seeing a Batman in the Joker universe, mm-hmm. but not that like those two are connected. I'm not saying. They're oh, connected. Not um, the, oh, sorry. What I got from I think one was from Deadline Hollywood Reporter, which now I'm off oh, that. They wanted. The Batman yeah. to be okay. It, it, it exists kind of not in the same universe. Let's not universe same build, but same, same feel. style. Yeah, okay. same style feel. That's just kind of been what's going on. And I'm just like dark and I'm, twisted. Maybe like a, a, a world it's a that's Batman that's movie. Nihilistic. Go ahead. Yeah, like yeah. a nihilistic world mm-hmm. where um, people are like they were in the movie, yeah. which I think is. 
pretty awesome because that's how you can mm-hmm. craft the story of like imagine if it was in the same universe but like 20 years later or mm-hmm. 25 years later that'd be a pretty interesting universe mm-hmm. like especially for the people that were there when the joker was incarnated or reincarnated. even just to see the aftermath of like that bruce wayne because like yeah. Yeah. you know like in all the other ones it still happens the same way but it's not like the city was in chaos when that happened and like mm-hmm. it's kind of like oh we'll see what happens now like, it's kind of fucked well yeah. also like his parents got shot mm-hmm. let's say well not let's say his parents got shot and he remembers the weird guy that showed up to his house and was doing the smiley face who was then filmed, let's say, if it's actually happened, on top of a police car doing the smiley face with blood. And he's like, that was the same guy. Mm. And then that smiley face haunts him. But mind you, then would that take away the fact that he's scared of bats and not... Well, yeah, I guess kind of... Middle-aged men who wipe blood on their face. <laughs> Instead of being face. Batman, just fucking has a big smile yeah. on his face. <laughs> that's, he, just, that's all it is? It's not the just bat the logo, smile. Yeah, just the smile. <laughs> yeah. And he's walking around in like some half crescent moon thing where if he like falls sideways, it looks like a smile. Like I don't think that's going to work, Batman. He's not even Batman at that point. No, not even close. Smile, man. One thing I'm super excited for Batman hmm. is to see the suit. Because hmm. apparently he wears a blue suit. And blue. That's, yeah. Like the, the blue and gray. Yeah. Oh, really? And that's what the people Adam are saying. West, I hope it's not a tight thing. <laughs> no, I think uh, the cartoons were like that, too. The originals. No? Yeah. No. And, uh, remember, Frank yeah. Miller's. Um, the Penguin? The, no, the Dark Knight. I believe oh, yes. Yeah. When he fought Superman. I know he has, a, like, it's Knight? a nice dark gray. Like, I think that's the one they're talking about. The dark gray. It's kind of like Bat- Arkham Asylum. Like, Arkham Asylum, yeah. he kind of had a blue. I don't think it was black. Mm, yeah, ish. Let's see here. It was when it was uh, he nice. fights. I think it's the one where he fights Superman. Like this one. Okay, yeah. Anthony? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That would be pretty dope, actually. I think it was just called Batman then. I think they could make that work. Or Batman v Superman where, like I said, Mm -hmm. he beat the shit out of. Hopefully, we get photos soon because they started filming. I saw a photo of the Penguin. Yeah, so, so that finally got confirmed. Yeah, he'll probably be mm. close to that, but just a little bit Do more. You'll have the gold yellow utility belt too. Maybe, maybe. Actually, I wouldn't mind. I don't know. I, I want like an Arkham Asylum look where, with the gray, like not don't have the yellow logo, but like mm. just have the big bat and the gray. Mm-hmm. But I don't know the yellow. Maybe, yeah. I don't know. It would, do I wouldn't mind it. I'd mind like a different look so, rather than just dark black. With that cast list, was that the first time we confirmed Colin Farrell as Penguin? Apparently, there's like set photos of him as Penguin too. That's what I'm saying. I, I, I think the last time we discussed it, it was like still speculated. But I since think that they didn't. I don't think they released it. I thought he was him. Penguin, but then you guys said no. It, was it wasn't confirmed. Rumored. And then yeah, I don't think we actually and talked about it. Now he's 100. percent So yeah, and I think we got stuck somewhere. I think for me, I, I couldn't see him as a Penguin. They're going to do a different one, I think. Yeah. I, I think we have to forget what we kind of know about all these characters, and they're going to make it their own, and doesn't have to be like the Danny DeVito Penguin nor the one on Gotham. Mm-hmm. So all that kind of stuff. But I'm excited. Yeah, I think too. it'll be really good. Um, before we move on, because we're on the Batman talk, I just watched uh, Gotham Season 5 because it just got on Netflix. Mm-hmm. Oh, is it on? Is it there? Yeah. Oh. Also, the whole series now is on Netflix, and man, was it awesome. Isn't he Batman in that? Like isn't, in the last um, episode, the very last so episode, like, uh, it's like Smallville. Okay. Yeah, it builds it up, and honestly, probably one of the best season finales, series finales that you could. Didn't have. the suit suck ass though? I, I remember was, seeing. I saw the clip. It like, wasn't anything like crazy by any means, but at the same token, you got to look at everything. Regard the kid's a little bit more leaner than the Batman we know. Like no. most of the Batmans, we've been he's pretty filled out. He's still a kid, but the funny thing is, there's a ten year jump. Uh, it was the same actor. It was that was the same actor, but they did re uh, recast the chick who played Selena Kyle. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. I don't, I don't know, know why, because they showed like more that. of her in person, so they had to like ten year jump a few of them, or we we could just use our imagination. Said, okay, she looks ten years older, just for whatever sake. I because the Selena Kyle that we had throughout the series was really good. I thought she was really mm-hmm. good. But, she was outstanding, and she yeah. looked like a young Michelle Pfeiffer. And there like, you go. Yeah. But honestly, that whole series I think was amazing. I think we'll have to rewatch it. Oh, really I'm probably gonna rewatch. It's been a while since I've gone through it all. Mm-hmm. There's a lot that happens when you think about it. But uh, yeah, really good. Have you watched any of it? Yeah, I'm oh. waiting for I guess the season that's out right now. There you go. Yeah, no. You won't be disappointed. I thought they did a very good job with it. I totally forgot what's happened. I don't even know where it ended. I know uh, it was after Poison bridges. Ivy got like redone. The like, bridges was it might yeah. So yeah. I don't, I don't even, I'll probably just end up rewatching because I think that was season yeah. three or four. So I'm like two seasons behind anyway. Oh uh, yeah. Da, 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 no. da. It's very good. Um, why I didn't we know they do. were making two more Mission Impossible movies, and I, I yeah. have a feeling we actually said that. 
on the show once, but I totally I forgot remember. until you send that. I remember you saying how impossible could the mission be? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I remember goodness. that was a direct quote you said once, and we yeah, were talking yeah. about this. Yeah. Yeah. How impossible can this mission be if they keep making new ones? It's mm-hmm. like, does that negate impossible ish? Yeah. I mean, yeah. mission difficult. Well, I mean, yeah. I guess mission extremely, extremely difficult. <laughs> well, and so then the other thing I was thinking, and I, is that, and this is kind of a two-parter, because I was watching Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Yep. And that's a great movie. Yeah. A great movie. And a great movie. <laughs> And then Temple of Doom, was it that was it called Temple of Doom? Yeah, Temple of Doom. Wasn't that like, great. No. But Temple of Doom was necessary for Last Crusade to be great because they did a lot of stuff that they had done in Ark of the Covenant. Like, there are some similarities in it, mm-hmm. the starting of it, going back to fighting Nazis because everyone likes Nazis. Um, fighting Nazis. Like fighting Nazis and them <laughs> dying. All of that stuff. Yeah. So then, now that we're bringing up the Mission Impossible thing, and I was thinking about it today when you sent the thing that Nicholas Holt, which... Great actor. Yeah. I'm, I'm, ho- I'm thinking he's going to be like Q was in Skyfall. Uh, a little bit, think? yeah. Who Have you seen Skyfall? I saw. I've only seen one Mission Impossible, oh. and it was the one with Henry Cavill. So who's going to be? Was like, that Fallout? That was a recent one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm, like he might be the tech guy, or he'll be the young blood. Isn't like Skyfall the, like 007? He's, he's, yeah. Nicholas Holt's oh, going to be the okay. villain potentially. Oh, in the next two. So yeah. they're going to the one, him? the one. Oh, okay. But I thought he was going to be starring in the next two. Oh, if that's the case, then he because well, you already have a tech guy, so I'm in Peg. Yeah, but he's now a field guy, isn't he? Ish. <laughs> Ish. Well, I think he does a little bit of both, right? Let's, you let's got take a look here. And you have... Um, In the next two Mission Ving Impossible Ving Rhames, too. Ving Rhames, whatever his name yeah. is. Yeah, Nicholas, Nicholas Holt casts alongside Tom Cruise in next two Mission Impossible movies. Mm. Maybe, someone, maybe a comment was said that the, he'd be a good, potentially a good villain to play like mm-hmm. the techie guy. I don't know. Starts off as a techie, then goes to the villain. It's like Syndrome. Maybe he rogues it. Honestly, though, I've ever since, uh, was it even Rogue Nation? After the fourth one. So Ghost Protocol. So good. So after that one, I think they've just progressively gotten better, in my opinion. Like, so this goes back. Very smart yeah. writing and, th- and behind it and all that kind of stuff. And a little bit more impossible than the last. Like the last yeah. one, I was just like, I don't understand how they're in a helicopter barreling yeah. through the mountains, and they're both not just dead from whiplash. Do like, and he though? did everything himself. Yeah, yeah. For the first Mission Impossible I watched, yeah, I actually enjoyed it quite a lot. Like I wasn't like lost. I was, I, oh, I would yeah. like to. I wasn't like, I was like, oh, like this is weird. The like they keep calling back. Second one's the shit. only really weak one. I mm. would say three is not terrible. It's not great. Um, yeah, three just exists. Yeah. But four, ooh, that's where it kicks off. So this may, may be where I tie in my Indiana Jones comment to this. Is oh, that, sorry. So Temple of Doom made Last Crusade even better because of how you know weak it was. So then now, does every Mission Impossible yeah. previous make the next one an even more impossible mission as opposed to them not being impossible by mm-hmm. the sheer volume? They've just been ramping up, obviously. Like, it, it seems very obvious. The odds just being getting, stacked against them, yeah. That's, but it's more impossible yeah. and more impossible only because they finished the impossible yeah. mission previously before. Yeah. So then that might take away my theory of after a while, you're like, well, these aren't as impossible if you're beating them. But they were impossible at that time, and they're evolving yeah. to a next level of impossibility. Yeah, and I think so the I last two then. have kind of have a linked story almost a little bit with the same villain. I think they've been linked since three because of his have wife. They? His wife, yes and no. I think she's just kind of a uh, well, she's she, being used. I she guess. tied Jeremy Renner's character to him, right? And then she came back at the end of number five or four, four. And then number five, I forget what happened, but then I think they might have escaped it at five. But they had her for at least, yeah. I guess maybe that's only two. Three, I don't know. Four. I don't know. I don't know Jeremy. Jeremy Renner was in these movies. Ghost Protocol. Yeah. He just wasn't in the last one for some reason. Uh, Yeah, he was in Ghost Protocol and Rogue Nation, right? Yeah. But yeah, he, he wasn't. Was in... Oh, I guess he wasn't in this one. Yeah. Fallout. What was the one before Fallout? Uh, Ghost Protocol. Oh, okay. There you go. Thing. So how many are in Mission Impossible? Is no, it there's seven? Six. six? Seven. Oh, there's six now. So six. seven and eight are the next two that they're that they've like um kind of greenlit. Yeah. That, that, that are gonna happen. I don't know, in succession, the kind of thing. Like they're gonna film one after the other, or it's like, no, we have a go ahead to do two more. Mm-hmm. After that, it's up to Tom Cruise really. As long as he's game to do it and it makes sense, like in basically these movies don't go forward without his say so anymore. He's or gone him to that in general. And him yeah. and him doing it. Like yeah. you can't train another 
Ethan Hawke kind of. There's no successor to the movies. Yeah. There's no like Star Wars effect where you can just like yeah. carry on yeah, keep the going. Mission Impossible thing. And know? they tried doing that with Bourne, obviously, with, with Jeremy Renner, yeah. but it didn't work because no one wanted to go see it. Because so, everyone's like, it's synonymous with like Jay, uh, with Matt Damon. Yeah. So in essence, basically, this has to end with him dying. Do you think that? Well, there's two oh, of them. Would that he should be... die. He can't retire because then they're, they're just going to be like, oh, it'll we'll be bring like him one back. more time. Yeah. It, it, it'll be like, what's it called? Um, midnight. Uh, oh, level midnight, old midnight, yeah. yeah. Where it's like, bro, well, Mrs. Khan, we got to bring you back again. And it's like, heads, I'll do it. Tails, I won't. It's yeah. out of seven. You I know? feel he has to die. Yeah. Or fake his death. It, it, but even then, it's only It's only special if there's limits to it. Yeah. You know? Just like humans, we're only special because of our limitations. Did you guys see the Threat Level of Midnight movie on YouTube? Oh, yeah. It was actually, I it's, find it stupid funny. I found it really funny, of actually. It was entertaining as funny. fuck. Was <laughs> like, I thought so it was going to suck and just be, like, cringy. Because I'm like, i not a huge Office fan, but like, so I do enjoy it. basically, back when they were filming this, they had the full-length version. Yeah. Already filmed and yeah. ready to go. Yeah. Interesting. I always, I was always waiting. I'm like, okay, someone had, I was always wanting someone to compile it, like just yeah. a fan. Yeah. So that's just take the scenes that they actually mm-hmm. showed us into one. Yeah. But it's kind yeah. of funny because then Steve Carell went on to do like Get Smart, which is almost Michael Scarnish. That was surprisingly good. Get Smart was a really good. I, I thought it was funny. I remember but, seeing it as a kid. I have no idea what it's about, but, but I do remember Get Smart. 100% Michael Scarn style. That is true, but obviously a little bit smarter. Right. Yeah. A little more self aware, I guess. Yeah, basically. You know. Um, I already mentioned that I'm going to go see Frozen 2 tomorrow and how Frozen 1 was meh. You liked it? I just found it funny. Whatever. Those Disney ones, I kind of just shut off my brain and just enjoy what I enjoy. Um, You shouldn't, though. You know why? Because all the other Disney ones are outstanding. Like, there hasn't been, outside of Frozen and maybe a handful of them that, like, fall flat. I don't understand why Elsa is the star of Frozen when clearly Anna is the, like, she is the main one. I think they... Just because she has powers? They, yeah, pretty they much. They put it. Elsa in the forefront, but I think it's well known that obviously Anna is the main part of it. It's it, it's you're following Elsa's story, but the hero is Anna technically. No, you're following Anna's story. Like, there you go. When I'm watching this, I'm like, I I don't understand why. You're following first... both of them. They're sisters. That's the whole point. Of no, it. It, but it's, <laughs> what's weird for me is especially now that I just have seen it for the first time. Yeah. And I was really like, Soph comes in. She's like, What did you think of it? Because she's seen it before I did. I'm like, I don't really like this, and I don't understand why Anna isn't front and center on every single poster because she's a the best. Kristoff's awesome. Sven's awesome, like his reindeer. Yeah. <laughs> Olaf is not as cool and funny as people think. Yeah. And the songs are all good except for the Frozen song. The actual yeah. song Let, it, Let go. it Go is not good. Don't care for it. I think it's I don't know. Terrible. That's the most memorable out of them all. Like, I don't remember. Is it because you other. heard it so much before seeing the movie? Maybe. And I was thinking Whereas that the too. rest of them you didn't hear barely at all. No. Yeah. So I like the one, Do You Want to Build a Snowman? Yeah. Which... I think there that was now I now get the Deadpool reference where he's like, doesn't it seem like get a snowman is very much like Papa? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I was sitting there, I was like, Deadpool too. He nailed yeah, it. yeah. Um, but anyways, I yeah. I was just like, there's there's a better thing they could have done. Also, it really and I know this review is probably this is like what seven to eight sixteen years too late. No, 16. Years Jesus too Christ. Where do you think Frozen came out? Seven, seven years too late because it is came it out in 2013. Years? Yeah, it is crazy. Yeah. Holy. Um, <laughs> why did they just off everybody in the. Like, why did they move the story so fast early on? Like, everything. Like, she has powers. Okay, where did she get those powers? Like we need, we should know this stuff. Why, why does it? Why do her parents know? What do her parents think? And then all of a sudden, they're dead. I think the second one's meant to answer those questions. I hope so. Can you I hear confirm? it? Does I, I haven't seen it, but like, from what, <sighs> well, I don't know, man. <laughs> but I think it does. I know the parents are in the second one. Okay, okay so I, I, it, like, I, yeah. I think that's what it's meant to do to you. It's meant to because they, I think they already had the second one like ready to go, like a story laid out. Right. So. It was always meant to answer those questions. I understand you probably want to know from the beginning, but maybe the whole mystery behind it, she's trying to figure out where this all came from and why she is the way she is. I want to understand. Oh, dude. Didn't they? No. I don't remember any Wasn't it the little... The trolls? The trolls? They they... just said that she had adopted... She she was... She had gotten her... She was born with her powers. Uh, She didn't get them. They they were explaining something very small as to why she didn't end up offing Anna when she shot her midair with an ice bolt. So... My thing is, is right. there's a super interesting toy story they could have done via Up. I just really popped into the microphone. Sorry, listener. Um, just like they did in Up, 
where they were able to establish a ton of story in that beautiful montage montage that I will always cry to no matter how old I am. And they didn't bother to really give much in here. And also, were we to believe that Anna kept asking Elsa for 20 years to go out and play a snowman and they just locked Elsa in her room the whole time. Like they didn't even once show the fact that they left. It seemed like they just brushed through 20 years of her just keep like asking to hang out with her. But then it's like in my mind, I'm like, well, you guys live in the same castle. There had to have been was some. It, was it 20? I don't know. They were, was they, they were kids. Sorry. 15. Yeah. How old were they? When... She's supposed to be 18. That's what. Thing? That's when they opened up. So she becomes... how old were they? Five when she shot her in the face. Uh, I think they have to be a little older than that. Six. I, I honestly think ten years at most. Past Even five. one year yeah. of solitude yeah, 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 is going to yeah. turn someone stark raving mad. Not mm-hmm. quiet and like how Elsa was, where she was just like, "No, I still need to maintain this and stuff." Mm-hmm. Even Anna, the fact that the door is open and she's good, like there had to. There's something there. They didn't even establish. They didn't even. They didn't even do anything to establish the parents' death meaning anything other than that Elsa has to keep this secret to herself. And there was a great opportunity to go down the rabbit hole of her guilt in having to wipe her sister's memory. And if she only knew, aside from her just brushing her off and then all of a sudden unleashing all of her powers. Like, I just think that they were lazy with it. And they really wanted to push the song (laughs) and really push the true love wasn't a kiss from a guy. It was... To like the actual embrace of like your sister or whatever, which I thought was nice. That was fine, um, but yeah, I don't get the Elsa thing. She was a bitch the whole movie. It's a kids movie, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's a kids movie, Santiago. <laughs> Anyways, so long story short, I'm only, I'm going tomorrow because my goddaughter wants me to, and I I watched the movie because she wanted. Like, I was going to see her tomorrow, and obviously I have to see the first one. So we'll see how it goes. That's my random. Frozen report. Sick also, Demi Lovato, 2013. Stupid son of a bitch. Also, he didn't like your songs. Also, don't name a, don't name your Demi movie. Lovato. That's who voices Elsa. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, it's the other it's one. Adina, Adina Menzel. No, Demi Lovato saying "Let It Go." No, Adina no. Menzel. I am nine. I've thought I, there's if I've <laughs> I've been wrong. I spent seven years thinking this. <laughs> And then Kristen Bell is Anna. Are you serious? I could have sworn she voiced her. I really like, like, Anna, Anna, sorry, is a great character. Yeah, that's Kristen Bell. She was so good. Also, what they should have done is I. Are you fucked? What the fuck? (laughs) You're a Did she do anything? Loser. Get his third thing, LeVar. I think Hans also should have, they should have had a a side story where Hans was the one that actually uh, inflicted Elsa with the powers as a way to betray. Like he's he's actually a frozen sorcerer, like that invokes like a, like feel a that Voldemort. Him, I, I guess because I'll tell, give, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. They they obviously it was super weird for everyone when they just decided to have one song and then get engaged. Okay, and then nothing after, and then all of a sudden he does his heel turn at the end, and you're just like, well, this was completely out of nowhere. And even though you knew Scar was a dick, it, when he showed up, when you almost saw Mufasa coming out and actually killed him, you were just like. Oh my god, like we didn't know the extent of this thing until we actually saw it unfold. This guy blows the fire out and says, I couldn't marry Elsa, but I'll get the crown through you. Like it was just super lazy. I just felt it very lazy. His reveal was just like, oh, wah, wah. like it, it didn't grip me. Whereas, like, I, I rewatched um, Little Mermaid like two weeks ago, still so fucking good. Mm-hmm. Everything about it was great. Like, but I don't think Disney's strong suit is actually making like movies anymore. Like I don't think it's actually making oh, original like more. like Disney Pixar. Like I'm sorry, like everybody thinks Toy Story is Disney for that sole reason because no, like cool. nobody cares about Disney's like yeah. Frozen is honestly. Is there another like Disney movie that's been like animated that's been like nearly successful as Frozen was? Not recently? as they had that Brave one. That Moana was that was Moana, Pixar. Brave was good yeah. and Moana was great. Was Moana like Moana was Disney only. and Coco. Yeah. Uh, Coco was Pixar and the two strings oh wait sorry that was Pixar I think yeah right yeah Coco and the two strings but Moana was really good I really like Moana a lot and Brave was really good I haven't seen Brave either I've seen clips but that's about it I just know the one meme where she's like if you you had a chance to change a fit would ya that's it yeah your fit your fit (laughs) (laughs) here anyways uh uh, Knives Out to focus on Daniel Craig's character. Knives Out 2, sorry. Yeah. Super excited for that. I'm in. 
I want to see this. I want to see. I'm excited to see Knives Out again when it comes like when it gets leaked like in yeah. better quality because it's like okay, but it's whatever. Mm-hmm. Just because I I'm I'm surprised. I'm genuinely surprised by hearing that news. Where I was like, you know what? You don't need it, but okay. It's fun. I think it'll I be like time. the Murder on the Orient Express. Uh, I didn't like that movie. I know you didn't like it. It was probably slow. Did Too slow you? for you? Uh, or you no. just didn't like anything about it? I think I remember. I you didn't. T- no, because I hadn't seen it. Oh. I just recently watched it. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure. Unless I'd said I'd, I saw it and I thought I saw it. I think I saw bits of it. Anyways, mm-hmm. either way, I didn't like it for the reason that it was just like I didn't feel like I was going on this journey of discovery. I felt like. He was asking some people some questions. There were some things that happened, and all of a sudden at the end, <gasps> spoilers, it was whatever I think you have that with a lot of movies because they've done that. Like It's the whole Sherlock thing, how you never like how you... Not in the movies, but... I'm just saying in general, you don't like that the reveal happens at the end. You don't. You want to figure it out as you go along with them. Well, I'll tell you why, because that shows to me that the people that wrote it mm-hmm. didn't actually know it was going to happen. So they got to the end, they're like, oh, we'll just do this with everybody. And then like it's like the, the people that made it they themselves realize the clues at the very end of it. How would like your mother it, style? It yeah. seems it seems very lazy to me because at least in some like knives out, yeah. you're following this thing along and you're in and you're you're coming up with your own ideas. You're actually a part of it. You're not just sitting there and waiting for the end to get there. Yeah, but don't you you're not piecing it together as you go along? Like I think that was happening with the whole what time. piece of information. He barely was talking to people. There wasn't sure enough he was. In, there wasn't enough there wasn't enough detective work on the train part itself because they spent too much time in the opening mm-hmm. trying to establish him as like the smartest guy in the world. Okay. Uh, and for people who haven't read the book, this guy means nothing to anybody. He just has a stupid mustache. Even like even and also, why was he wearing his mustache guard in one scene, and then when he went to go sleep when the murder happened, he didn't have his mustache guard? And that could have been a clue in and of itself to maintain that he was the actual murderer because he didn't like that Johnny Depp's character was asking him to protect him even though he's a piece of shit. Mm. There's your movie. Boom. Anyways, there was nothing there to lead you along. And no, it is lazy when all of a sudden at the very end it's like, oh, this is what it was. And there's no connective tissue there. Like Uh, I understand you like – sometimes it seems that you just enjoy the fact that you were surprised by – just the fact that you got surprised for no. no other reason than you got surprised. Listen, I was following it along and I pieced together some of it to the extent that like you could pick and choose like who was involved to the extent of like everyone being involved like that one was. Yeah, you missed it, you missed a few whatever. It's been out for years now, so too bad. I don't know. I have, I, I have a I have a problem with that. Me fun like I I do not like yeah. it cuz it's lazy. Cuz again, if or you just can't figure it out. No, because at least through knives out which is Have an you seen inf- Murder on the Orient Express? You should watch it. Yeah. And you just spoiled it. That's why I didn't say the... the Whatever, man. Deal. He'll figure it out. Well, I will now. Well, he has to. <laughs> whatever. There you go. Uh, see? Uh, he goes with the whatever route. All I'm saying is that Knives Out, comparatively to Murder on the Orient Express, two murder mysteries, who done it mm-hmm. type of stuff, and one of them, you're, you're moving along with it as things are progressing, and you're along with Daniel Craig for the ride, as opposed to the other one, where it's just like, it doesn't feel the same way, and... At least in Knives Out, you were piecing together things, right? And it, it just I feel like I, it did it way. It's it, do, it, it, let's let's say it's doing it. They're both doing this exact same thing because you're. I think you're wrong on that personally. Because you like the, the no, the, it has nothing to do with the like thing. I'm just saying it's a murder mystery. He's he's putting the clues together. He's trying to piece together. He's talking with the guy who's helping him, like the the guy who owns the train or who, working there. He's talking with people. You are piecing it together. Knives Out probably does it better. I would I would agree with let's you with that infinitely better. That's fine, but to say it's not happening, I feel that's wrong. One is our, ro, one is the equivalent of Robert Downey Jr. Sherlock Holmes, which yes, it's somewhat entertaining. It does the exact same thing, and the other is like the BBC version mm-hmm. that actually is them figuring out clues. Again, they're doing it as you go along. Yeah, but to, it's not the same. Isn't it just like a it's a whole preference? You just prefer. I'm just he's smarter, saying it's not, not doing smart. it at all. I'm just saying Knives Out for sure did it better. But to say that Murder on the Orient Express wasn't doing it at all, I think that's wrong. Because it was doing it. It just didn't do it as nice Maybe as you would at like all it. all is harsh, but barely doing it and just being like, we've read the book, we know what the ending is going to be, and we'll try to just put a few set pieces together here mm-hmm. towards the end. None of the clues that he, he, came up, he came up with or he discovered really for me, was like, oh, this is leading me towards something. It was just him asking very preliminary questions to an investigation and then coming up with the entire thing after. He never went with the secondaries or the thirds, maybe with Daisy Ridley's character, but it wasn't until the final act that it was actually like, 
him diving deeper into it, and then by that time, he's already discovered the whole plot because the movie has to wrap up and finish. Mm -hmm. That's why it seemed super lazy to me. There are some good parts. Like, again, the opening was fine Mm -hmm. because it seemed like we were going along with this pattern, but he had already figured it out by the time it happened, and then you're watching the chase scene and everything like that. Mm -hmm. Anyways... To, if it's a movie that for Knives Out 2, we're not even going to talk about Murder, Murder on the Orient Express, Daniel Craig's character, and he will be solving a new mystery with new suspects. That was that. Mm-hmm. So have fun watching Murder on the Orient Express after he spoiled it for you. Oh, I'll well. probably forget by the time I watch it. Uh, there you go. Young Ned Stark, who was at the Tower of Joy, is replacing that Powell dude in The Lord of the Rings. It's fine, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, we were saying how it's better to get some obscure... Uh, actors that aren't so well known and yeah. uh Will Portier, that's his name. Will Poulter. Poulter. Poulter Poultier. Yeah, it's hmm. French. It's no that's oh. different. <laughs> it's not. Uh Scott Derrickson leaves Doctor Strange two. Yeah, it's which sucks. is actually surprising. The mm. guy with the horror background and this is supposed to be a horror focus. Well, well he, he it's supposed to be a first scary. Too. Scary, not horror. Yeah. No, it's said horror. He meant yeah, he wanted Well, horror, it's not, yeah. they never said horror. They just said it was going to be scary. It is in this, is this report That's right here. But the report's not true. I've read the quote because this one guy in my group chat so has been very true. fucking anal about stating that it's not a horror. It's a scary movie. And he sent Whatever. me the quote. I've never heard the term scary in any of the reports. I've only heard okay, it. Man, okay, This was okay, yesterday. Sorry, why, it. Why, why is scary movie different from horror? Well, because it's like, I don't know. Just I feel like it's going to be a disappointment. <laughs> what, uh, like Dr. if people go in for like a horror, but it's just like, it just... Because they said it was me like Car- like Coraline. They said like it's Coraline right, was it's scary, horror thriller, but it's not it's horror. It's, it's like follow. you know scary enough where it's like oh. I think unsettling is different hmm. than horror than scary. Though. I don't know. Just, just anyway, me. I don't. It's not a don't good. Don't kill the messenger. I'm it's just not like you. oh, we always do. <laughs> I don't think it. I, I, like if Scott Derrickson's out, then I don't think it matters. And the reason is so I don't think it yeah. matters is because. This next phase in Marvel, thanks for giving us the 10 years. It was great. Everything was amazing. But this next one, we're not as invested in, and we won't yeah. be. Sorry. I'm going to say this. I'm not going to be as invested. So the fact that the guy that made the first Doctor Strange really good mm-hmm. is out and over creative differences means that Marvel's really going to be trying hard to make sure that people stick around for this next phase, yeah. even if that means – and he did mention that he's staying on as an executive mm-hmm. producer. Yeah. But whenever but producers don't do much anyways. No, most of them don't do anything, right? It might be a phone call, okay? But creative differences – just means that they don't like the way that that he didn't like the way that Feige was rolling things out and they're still rolling with the same schedule Mm -hmm. but what I'm going to go with is the fact that who cares Mm -hmm. because I'm not going to be as invested as I was because this whole thing is just a mess like not a mess but we don't know where it's going it's going everywhere and then somehow going to converge in the end and I think it's just like like the, the first phase was a nice gradual incline and now you're dealing with this giant bubble that's filled with stuff and then someone's popping it and we're supposed to try to make sense of all the confetti that's in the air so for this like for my two cents i don't think it really matters like i agree with g it's kind of like you don't care who the director is but i do find it interesting how they haven't decided to push back the release date as they're either filming in march or may it's, I know it starts with an M. I forget which month specifically, but mm. it's coming up like super fast. Yeah. And they're not like, they're not, you yeah. know, taking anything back. So if they didn't find a director, they got to find a good one mm-hmm. fucking fast and make sure like he's not going to f- flake out like Uncharted has multiple times. Oh, yeah. fuck. That Plagued. Made. That's the fucking new mutants. <laughs> Do you care? Uh, I usually like when the actors mm-hmm. stick around and the, and the directors stick around. It's usually a good sign because you have that same theme going forward. And obviously it seemed like he had a good vision going forward. I think I liked what he had to say about it. So yeah, I usually, I care, but we're going to have to move on regardless. Well, so. interesting enough, I never knew this, but the Ant-Man trilogy is actually going to be the first trilogy in the MCU to be directed by the same director. All oh, three. Mm-hmm. Well, wow. well funny, Until Spider-Man thing. 3 happens. The, and Guardians. Yeah, I guess Apparently so. that one's going to be a while. Well, yeah, because of suicide. Is that what it is? Squad. So, yeah, <laughs> whatever. Just stop at suicide, dude. Because <laughs> of suicide. <laughs> Squad. <laughs> um, but the funny thing with that is that it started with Edgar Wright and it switched to Peyton Reed mm-hmm. almost halfway through production. Oh, for the first one. Yeah. The oh, first okay. one. Then he's like the better around. one. So it's kind of like three and a half or two and a half. Yeah, mm-hmm. the next one's going to be called Ant Man and the Wasp and um, Stature. And stature? Yeah. That's uh what the fuck I f- does that mean? Is that the villain? Or is that no, a person? That's, oh, that's a kid. Pu- that's the kid. Yeah. yeah so uh Ant Man's kid. They're Ant-Man's- actually calling it Ant Man and the Wasp and Stature. Yeah. 
It got it's not there's see, a YouTube it's stupid, video, but it's funny enough where it's like yeah. you know what? It's obviously ironic that they're naming it. It's not yeah. like they're naming this a serious title. <laughs> I guess. Um, also, it's like Atman's a joke character, so it's like don't take it too seriously. It's uh, like, he saved the galaxy. He's a joke character. He saved the galaxy. The rat saved the galaxy. Yeah. Don't confuse it with his <laughs> with his truck. Yeah. If it wasn't for him, nobody would be back. Yeah, yeah but everyone I mean, would be wiped. So let's just. What's better? Ask Thanos. He preferred that version. Yeah, but he's not the greatest. Depends who you ask. Yeah, exactly. Count your blessings, son. Uh, wow. Hulk solo movie. Well, nobody wants it. I don't want it. Don't need it. I don't know where you can go with it. It's too, maybe because now World he's, War Hulk. If anything, Planet like Hulk. Actually, does he Planet now Hulk, Hulk. separate himself again? So he's not I Professor would watch, Hulk? I would watch that movie. I would watch the movie yeah. where he turns into Professor it's like, Hulk. I can't sustain this anymore. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> or isn't there a storyline where he actually separates the two? That's, that's Professor the, Hulk. That's the Professor Hulk one. No, no, no. Like, completely separates. The, yeah, then they come back. Part of it oh, is it part of it? Okay, yeah. sorry. I don't know. Right now, we know him as the Professor Hulk. I think the ship sailed. Like, I honestly, so the ship has got, like, his character For arc his? is, like, yeah. going... It's not going down, but it's, like, it's ending. It's, so, it's like having a movie... No, it's just... Can't it's do this. anything with yeah, him anymore. Like, he was interesting in, like, Ragnarok, but then yeah. Endgame... Ragnarok. Or Infinity War really killed the Hulk's vibe. Yeah. And then Endgame... Didn't pick it up. They just kind of left it like dangling there, like they did with Finn. Well, and now it's like no one cares because he just he's now Professor Hulk. He yeah. has been for five years. I think, and the... he had his moment. He was Avengers One. Solo movies don't exist anymore, by the way, in the MCU because there's just they're too intertwined as it is. Black Panther may have his own because he's technically off on a different. But Namor is going to be in that one, and so yeah, so it's like another villain that's going to be all huge. of them. Even Lord with Captain Doctor Marvel Doom. now, like the second one that comes out. There's going to be other MCU people. So there's no one has going to have a solo movie. They're going to be the main focus, obviously. But you'll always have the cameos. Thor, you never know. The Guardians might be a part of that, for all we know. How do we even not bring this up? Christian Bale might even be oh, in yeah. Love and Thunder. In what capacity? No idea, but I think I it's want, hilarious. I don't, people are saying Maybe that. he can play Baylor. But didn't Christian Bale also state how he doesn't like comic book movies? The brother of Thor? Well, there's two, there's two people I've heard. Really? Either Beta Ray Bill, who is yeah. the fucking... Yeah. whatever yeah. he is or the villain which the villain would be cool because it's a one-off i'd assume and like christian bale i'm pretty sure he said he doesn't like doing the long superhero movies which is why he didn't want to do like yeah. the dark knight trilogy mm. so i don't like it's kind of like weird like joaquin like i don't know the fucking batman actors and saying yeah. they don't want to do superhero they movies. never established bail so it wouldn't make sense to do it there's a lot of stuff they didn't establish but i'm I mean, they if, did if he's in it it's a, good actor in, it's a good actor in a very on the thing movie. of champions he was there oh was he? Bill. Yeah, yeah he was one of the faces Oh, Bader, yeah. I yeah. was saying Baylor. Oh, oh no, my, my thing. Um, whatever. I guess we can, yeah, so where are we now? I'm gonna, I've been pushing this one topic, but I'm going to push it till next week. Uh, there's that Hunter's trailer. Holy there was uh, Hunter's looks good. With Al Pacino. Al Pacino. That's what are they awesome. doing in that? What's the? So they're basically creating the a group to hunt Nazis hiding in the U.S., Oh, gotcha. Is so, this like based on a real, st- like based on like I what th- they actually did? I think it's like that'd be hype as loosely, fuck. loosely so based on like, like glorious bastards type of thing. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It'll probably be a cross between like not as extreme as Inglorious, but it won't be as like as to the point as I don't know what else. <laughs> something documentary style, <laughs> something <laughs> hunting Hitler, an actual documentary <laughs> yeah. of World War yeah. II. I don't know what else to example, but yeah, that's fair. I don't know. Good, good cast. I always like the when they put like those ensemble characters <laughs> and Josh Radner coming out of nowhere. Like, no shit. That was is that the one he's doing? Or he's yes, doing that's two? The one. Is he doing two things? That's the one. No, remember I told you he's a master of disguise. He's doing that. That's his character. Fuck, in that's that. not yeah. what. That's not the vibe I thought he was going yeah, for. No, hundred percent. Yeah. Wait a minute. Josh it's Radner. It's going to be a comedy? No, 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 no. no. That's not, that, I'm not I, saying that's I, not the vibe I expected oh. from like him coming back. Is it? Yeah. But from the trailer that I watch, I think there's... I don't think there is... I think they make jokes, this is, but it's not... Well, if you're hunting like, Nazis, like I said, you that's to the borderline like, in Glorious where they're going to like make some jokes about it, but like... Glorious is funny. Yeah. So you got to keep it somewhat lighthearted if you're hunting Nazis. I, I like, think so, too, I mean, yeah. Jojo Rabbit took it. Nice oh, I got, I'm halfway there. through Jojo Rabbit. Halfway, why don't you just watch it? Because I, I was, I was like, late, I was like uh, passing out. Okay, like, okay, I'm not okay, gonna like, okay. I'm not cognitive to like know what oh, I'm yeah. seeing. No, I'm excited for it. It was good. New Mutants trailer. I finally actually, got a trailer. I actually didn't watch it. I forgot to. But oh, it's very good. good. I liked it uh, for that being on the back burner for how long and like three years. Yeah, that sucks. It's actually stupidly and long that trailer time. actually being pretty damn interesting. Yeah. They have a lot of big. Sorry to cut you off. No, yeah. they have a lot of big actors, which I was like, they have Arya. Yeah. The one Will's brother from Stranger mm-hmm. Things. They have another fucking. I forgot who it is. We have like a lot of like. It's weird. It's a lot weird of good to see them. Comers too mm-hmm. from other stuff. Um, Birds of Prey. 
Oh fuck! I'm not gonna lie to you. I never actually watched. That was a, that's a oh, second or final trailer. Second, great trailer. I'm okay. done watching trailers. I'm going in now. Great. Trailer. I'm good. I thought they already had like two already, but just I guess that was the teaser, all. and then the the first one. This is the second. This oh, is like and thank I think God. This is like the last one. This was a great. Okay. Trailer. They have some knowledge. Black Mask. They decided. Oh, boop. I think that's all you need to do. That's it. Good to go. We know yeah. you're not gonna fuck it up. Okay, good. Good that, enough. And that mask looks so good. That's gonna be everyone's Halloween costume. I hope he will. So I, hope he I haven't seen the trailer. Suits. I probably will. Did. But not with the mask. They had the oh, black, and the black yes. was nice. So, but it's like, you know. yeah, is right. the Ewan McGregor face the mask, and he takes it off, and he's black, or the, no, no, he puts no. it on top? He's he puts the, it on top. The black oh, mask okay. is on top. Which uh, is like, I wasn't sense. sure how that she worked out. She has a hyena, which I think is. I saw that. She's feeding awesome. it, isn't Bruce. It? Yeah, and it cat uh, hyenas are the fucking worst, dude. There's. I just realized I was like listening to someone talk about some of the most like evil animals in the world are actually hyenas because of like. They laugh and they I thought you liked the Lion just... King. Would you already know that? No, but I mean, no, like, no. that's a cartoon. Yeah, literally. Right? Yeah. In a literal sense, yeah. yeah. Uh, I know I made a joke in the chat, but that Ragnarok trailer was real good. I know. Doesn't it look good? That looks outstanding. So and it's like a Scandinavian. It's actually like yeah. set in. Is it based on the actual like myth? It's... No. Well, I think what it is, yes. what it looks like is this. Magni. The one guy's Magni. So that's a son of Thor is Magni and Modi. Those are two sons of Thor. Uh, Balder is another one. Uh, he's the one that ends up being like. Well, uh, there's a brother of Thor. Sorry, brother of Thor. Son of uh, that's Freya. That's right, not and, Baylor, Balder. Yeah. Uh, son of Freya and Odin. There's a thing there. Yeah. There's a there's a war between the Aesir gods and the giants. Because <laughs> Odin is actually a super dick and Thor is a real big dick. Like in the actual yeah. uh, mythology, mythology, yeah. Yeah. like there, nobody's really that great, right? Yeah. But yeah, it seems like there's this battle of the giants and the Aesir gods yeah. on Earth, and Magni is like, he's like the yeah. son of Thor is on Earth trying to figure mm-hmm. shit out. But and they mentioned the two dogs, Skull and Hati. Yeah. Which once they eat the sun and the moon, that's when Ragnarok. If it's Scandinavian, happens. they're going to be very close to the actual lore and history behind it and the okay. mythology. And, like, I don't know if they're named Magni and, and Modi. Modi. Like, are they put there on Earth unknowingly? Like, they've always been placed there just as a security deposit, I guess you could say. I honestly don't know. But, honestly, that area that they showed, that must be famous in Scandinavia or for the mythology part. Because that's exactly, I think it looks almost exactly where, remember in for the first Thor where they Odin's showed the t- town? showing the town? That Does, was CG, does it, wasn't it? I don't know, but it looks very familiar to me. I don't know why I have that imprinted in my Doesn't brain. It, look- it looks very similar. It, it's like in a, it's in a crevice, so it looks very similar based on where that the, where the trailer takes place too. I'm not sure. All I know is that I was yeah. super into that trailer, and I remember putting a, a note, and I'm like, okay, everybody with Ragnarok, because they 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 leaked that the new Assassin's Creed game is Ragnarok. I'm yeah. like, don't call it Ragnarok. We already have. I, it's kind of smart though, because like, for, especially for the movie, the movie yeah. itself, like Assassin's Creed, I don't think it really matters because it's like, who cares? You, you got to pick a name synonymous with mm-hmm. North Mytho- North Mytho- mythology. I'm so, super like, into it. I'm super yeah. into Assassin's Creed for but sure. The thing is, don't call it Ragnarok. Like you can call it because Ragnarok is a thing that is invokes so many different things, and yeah. like, there's massive battles of gods and things that Assassin's have happened, Creed Skull. They could have called it Aesir. That your character is AC uh, Aesir. An, an AC, yeah, well, maybe that wouldn't work. But like, <laughs> I don't know, man. There's so many things they could have called it. Like, I think Valhalla, Valhalla would have been. Well, great. it's not official yet, is it? Apparently, that's what's been leaked. I, yeah, I don't know. It, it's very preliminary. Who knows? But because of God of War, because of Thor, hmm. the ter- the word Ragnarok since Thor Ragnarok has been everywhere. So God hmm. of War comes out, unbelievable game, Ragnarok all over the place. Then but Ragnarok show, was like it's it's before their, so it's their when did God of War come out though? Because they could have been making this before like it came out the f- um, like last year, before, two years ago, two three years ago now. No, God of War came out. Uh, it won game of the. It beat two, La- Red Dead, right? It yeah, beat Red Dead. Year. So yeah. it was May of last year. They they probably been making it for it was a while. Twenty game of the year. Yeah, it beat Red Dead, and I was really so, happy because fuck Red Dead. Hey, Red Dead was actually it got spoiled for me multiple times. How can Anyways. you spoil Red Dead? Dude, my coworker. The story. Don't you missed it. it all the time. All the time. No, this isn't a spoiler. But uh, when the horse dies, the game's almost over. You have one mission left. He dies in the end. It's really yeah. sad. That's all not the really time. A spoiler. You should really watch. Yeah, I would. No, I, like the game just came out. Like it was two weeks old. Oh, yeah. No, I <laughs> I really enjoyed yeah. it. Holy blue. This wasn't like last I'm, week. I'm so deep in The Witcher Three again. Like mm-hmm. so deep. <laughs> Did you do oh, that man. Henry Cavill change up? No. no I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> no. My girl is the one that's in there. 
Okay. Uh, and it's still so good. Everything about it is so good. Even Ethan, I got him playing because he got it for the Switch. Yeah. Which at first I was making fun of it because I'm like, no, you need to experience it on the big on a big screen. And then I played it. I'm like, oh my god, this thing can go everywhere. Mm-hmm. Motherfucker. Mm-hmm. And but he's super into it. Does he play it handheld or does he dock it? Handheld. Oh fuck. He's because crazy. if you dock it because of the resolution, it actually looks terrible on a TV. That's pretty uh, bad. That, but the switch is the switch is like a handheld. But it's just you like, can dock it for yeah. like Mario Kart this, and though, shit. His wife got him the handles, and so it's got legit. Oh, good the big handles. Jesse has those too. That mm. off-brand. Oh, they're big. They're nice. It's quite comfortable mm. to play. So I was playing around with it. I'm like, oh my god, I would never stop playing this thing. Um, but yeah, I'm super deep into The Witcher Three, and I'm so happy. And it still is unbelievable. Even the one mission alone, because I've recommended God of War to Ethan, and he's loved it. Assassin's Creed, Odyssey, and Origins, and he's loved it. Um, his aunt was actually one of the voice actors, and his nephew were was in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Mm. Um, but there's games I recommended, and that he like he really likes. Like Horizon Zero Dawn was another one. Yeah. So like my recommendations have been huge, and I've been pushing for Witcher Three forever. And his wife got it for him for the Switch. Oh, okay. Now he's playing it, and he's like, he texts me at work. He's like, cannot stop thinking about the Witcher. I was like, what did I tell you? And then I'm sitting there yeah. like Palpatine. Good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go for right. Papa Palpatine. Yeah, go for Palpatine. <laughs> um, okay, we said that that trailer looks good. So that's coming out January thirty first on Netflix. Birds of Prey, New Mutants, Hunters. We talked about. Is there anything else I missed? I don't think the so. other topic. I'm probably going to be pushing it forward to the next one. That's fine. Mythic Quest, Ravens Banquet, official. Ter- what the fuck was that? You told me. I don't know. You sent it. I sent it. Yeah, Mythic Quest, Ravens Banquet. Rob McEllen, he. The Mythic Quest, uh, new live action Apple TV comedy. <laughs> From the always sunny in Philadelphia guy. Oh hmm. yeah, like he's uh, he's creating a game. Um, he's creating a game. Like, no, it's not like the actual person. It's it's a movie. It's oh. a TV show. Mm. And he, the guy who plays Mac in Always Sunny in Philadelphia, he's like the star of the show, and he has like this ego behind him, and like he's the star of it. But he has like his team of like the brainiacs that like put all the graphics and make everything happen. I think he gets involved too, but he kind of gets full of himself. I think it'll just look funny more than anything. So yeah, I'm pretty excited hmm. about that. What else did I send recently? That's I went back. Really That's about excited. it. All right. Um, oh, Titans season two came out today. The well, it's been out for a while. Season. No, it's done. It came out to Netflix today. Yeah, but it's been out for like, it's been done for like almost a month. Listen, is I it good? Do you I don't watch cable? So I have watch. Netflix. So, so as far cable. as I'm concerned, then it's then it just pirates. came out today. You're a pirate. No, I'm not. Oh fuck you! Pirates cool. are sweet. Don't. It came I mean, out like today. Not on DC. I'm telling you, on Netflix it did, but it's been out for a while. Okay. What, it's been out for a while. Where'd you find it before, or where is it playing before? It's on DC's you like own streaming site. It's not in Canada. Okay, whatever. But it's been out Who for a while. Cares? To the rest of the world, it came no, out. No, you're too. wrong. No. It came out on Netflix today. Actually, earlier this week. I, You know, I really hate Netflix because they send you the notification that something came out. When I'm like, no, I already saw it. It's there. Is it the one they say like, recommended for you? No, 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 no. It's saying Titans is back. It's that notification that this new. I'm like, yeah, it was on all week. Like, or it just came out Thursdays and I saw it today. See, I want to watch Titans. I saw the first episode. Actually, I've seen a lot now that I think about. Did you it. not watch the first season? No, so no, see, I've I kept up to date with. I just see it in my feed, and I didn't really, you know, care. Yeah. But I just like, I wa- I watched the first couple episodes, and I actually liked it. I just mm. never. My problem is, I'll forget to watch a show, and I'll just yeah. never go like a movie. John Wick three, I haven't even finished it. I liked it. I just forgot to watch it, and I'm like, I don't know what the fuck happened. And I just never go back. Uh. Well, I will say John Wick three, although good. It's very self-indulgent. A little bit. That was a topic I was going to bring up, but I'm going to talk about it next week. So next week, we're going to talk about the John Wick influence. Oh. Or how can I call this? The John Wick effect. I'm going to call it the Keanu Reeves effect. The You have a week to think of it, it, don't worry. Yeah, I have a week. (laughs) And maybe this week I won't have a name that has just a date, because clearly you didn't like it. I thought it was kind of cool. I no? guess. No? Okay. Yeah, that sort of Let's thing. get the fuck out of here. <laughs> uh, thank you, everybody, once again, for tuning in to another week of The F Word. Um, yeah. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at The F Words G, which I barely use anymore. Fuck Twitter. Uh, Instagram, F Word Podcast, uh, Lazy Canadian, Facebook. That one's been doing good. We've been getting some traction. Uh, there's actually a guy I want to do a shout out to, and I don't know if I actually did this. This is my bad if I didn't do this. 
Did I mention Robbie from Out of Blank? Out of the Blank? Ever? I don't believe so. Okay, so there's a dude named Robbie. He is from Seattle. I did an episode with him on his podcast. It's called Out of the Blank Podcast. Guy's really, like, you know, really cool kid. Really good dude. Um, We had a great conversation. So if you want, you can check that out. That was episode 252. This guy right here. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Of Out of the Blank with Robbie. Also, there's a dude... He is a, where is he? Where is he? He's actually a rapper hmm. that's been following us, and he actually comments. He's from Melbourne, which, by the way, I hope is this he's Dan? okay. Dan? Dan did. Yo, Dan? Fuck yeah, I love Dan. Dude, I don't know. Like, I didn't, like, I've been liking his stuff because he likes our stuff, right? And that's a Limitless AU, Limitless Comics. We've talked about him a while 17, ago. 17, yeah. The he used to pop into the live streams, yeah. Is that what had happened? Anyways. Shout out to Dan, man, because I don't think I have. And he always is like, you know, he's always commenting. He's always kind of like involved. Do with you listen stuff. to his music? Because actually, like, I he's actually like good. him a lot. I like feeling. Feeling was the one I fucked with the he's most. He's good, oh, man. God. And he's like, he's got a really good IG page. So go to Dan Dib, uh, at Dan Dib Music. And like, the dude's dude's really good. And he's like, he seems like a really cool dude. He's actually collabing with uh, my friend in like, from Regina. Okay. Like they're, he's sending... It's weird because I introduced them and like, they're, but they're making a song and it's pretty hype because it's like, that's a weird, you know, Canadian to Australian connection for a song. It's pretty hype. He's got 160 followers on Spotify. Like he's got, he's got good traction. 400 mm-hmm. listeners here. He's had his reviews, like, or he's had his music reviewed by some big YouTubers and stuff. Well, he so has like, like over 100K on his comic page. Yeah. No, he's, mm-hmm. that, that dude's like pretty awesome. And I, I'm sorry that I haven't shouted him out till now. But I like I made a note of it because he had commented on the last photo that I put up for like the poster for last mm-hmm. week's episode or like the first one, and he was like, "Looks like an album cover," and I'm like, "You know what? It kind of does." <laughs> so, anyways, shout out to him. Um, yeah, email us at podcast at gmail even though you won't. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, even though you may or may not want to. <laughs> but we're almost at a thousand followers, so it's only taken us t- three years now, almost. Yeah. To be fair, we were like on the stopped. After they said we couldn't get monetized, that was when our drive ended. And we're like, okay, whatever. For sure. All right. It's another week. Thank you so much. I'm G. I'm Anthony. I'm Vass. And we're out. What the fuck were you pointing at? (laughs) 